welcome to the uh, G scale video. We're going to use your flat pick for this. So take it off the end of your ukulele if you've got it there. Um, or go and get one. Pause the video while you go and get a pick if you don't have one. Um, before we do the scale, I just want to go over some um, flat picking techniques to make sure you're doing that right because that's a really important part. Step one, the most important thing about flat picking is that it has a totally different sweet spot than everything else we do. Everything else we do, if we're picking or strumming, doesn't matter whether we're thumb strumming or if we're doing um, a double strum, it's all, the sweet spot for all of those things is where the shoulder meets the neck. But when we're using our flat pick, or soft pick, as you want to call it, we have a completely different sweet spot um, which is just about um, probably the length of the tip of your finger from your bridge. Between the hole and the bridge, it's probably a little closer to the bridge than the hole. So that is uh, important step number one. In order to be in that position and to help hold the ukulele in against your body still, you're going to want to push with your wrist, anchor your wrist, just below the bridge. So you're anchoring your wrist below the bridge. And let's just talk about how to actually hold the pick itself. There's a, a couple of different ways people like to approach this. I used to do this sort of thing where I would have my thumb and my index finger sort of on either side. And some people really like that. So here's how I hold it now. I find it gives me more control. I take my index finger, I point it back towards my elbow, and I put the large rounded part of the pick right against that part of my fingertip. So it's sort of the same shape, right? This is the arc of the pick, that's the arc of my finger. And then I have my thumb pointing away from my elbow. So my finger's going in this direction, my thumb's going in that direction and that gives me sort of a pick sandwich between my thumb and my finger. The next thing you want to know is how to angle your pick the right way. Learning this last trick changed my picking so much. It improved it so much. Um, if you have your pick flat in line with the string, which is how I used to think you were supposed to do it, it's quite loud and brash sounding and it can also sort of catch and mess up your timing and your rhythm. So uh, you don't want to do that. Now just by comparison, if you turned your pick so that instead of being in line with the string, it was absolutely perpendicular, so almost like it's cutting through the strings, then you get almost no sound at all. So what you actually want is somewhere in between. So you want to have an angle. Now if you were holding your pick this way, like some people like, like I think Melanie likes it this way, um, then you would um, want the angle of the pick to sort of go from your left shoulder to your right knee like this. And you would want it at a 45 degree angle. So if this is zero, where it's in line with the string, and this is 90 degrees where it's perpendicular and cutting it and making no sound, what we actually want is about 45 degrees, okay? If you hold it the way that I have started holding it, this way, then the angle actually goes the other way. But as long as it's at about a 45 degree angle, that should still work. So now I'm angling it from my left knee up towards my right shoulder, but still, it's at a 45 degree angle. index finger to the note G and we'll try the G scale. So for the G scale we're going to do this fingering and let's right away do the rhythm down up down up down up down up down up down up. That's going to be our tick a tick a t t rhythm that we're going to do. One, two, starting on the G here we go. Down up down up down then it's A A A A A now open B finger C natural, slide your first finger to D, second finger on the E, first dot, third finger on F sharp, second dot, and one more fret is G. That's F sharp, first dot is E, first finger on the D, slide 
slide back to C natural, open B, third finger on high A, G. Let's do that again without me talking and a little bit faster. One E and a two and ready and a here we go. scale with the flat pick and that's a great warm-up for the song Never on Sunday and I'm gonna make that video next. Good luck practicing and see you in the next video.